Hello, in this video we're going to look at summarizing the single variable statistics of a single uh, set of data in the example, it's the age of the U.S. presidents at inauguration. And we've listed Grover Cleveland and his first term only here, so there are 43 data values. First thing I'm going to do is to wipe out the more specific how old are <laughs> the age at number of days, years and days. So to do that I'm going to hide that column. Give me a little bit more room to work with here. I'm going to put the formulas right next to the, the statistic. And we'll start off with the mean. Any formula you create in Excel begins with an equal sign. So we'll type in equal. And the function you're looking for is average here. And if you type in the first few letters of it, it'll eventually come up. The best way to select the data is to click and drag. You see that the youngest president was Teddy Roosevelt, and the oldest president, these are listed for you, at inauguration was Ronald Reagan. Uh, now that I have that selected, I'm going to be using that range a lot, so I'm going to come up here and copy it. And there's the average age of the U.S. president at inauguration. The average age is 54.62 years. The standard deviation, begin with ST. We've got a bunch of standard deviations here. We want the one for the population. This is not a sample. And again, inside here, I'm going to type in the range. Luckily, I copied it. C3 colon C45. Hit enter. And there's the population standard deviation. The variance can do this in a couple of ways. You can take the standard deviation and square it and this is what it would look like. Uh, or there is a function in Excel as well equals VAR variance of the population. Again I'm going to paste in my range and there you see it. The minimum equals MIN is the function you want paste in the range, and there's the smallest. Teddy Roosevelt was the youngest president. For quartiles, uh, you type in the word quartile. And there it is down there. Type in your range, but since there are several quartiles, you want to specify which one. So after the range, type in comma and then one for the first quartile. I should note here that Excel calculates the first and third quartile in a way different than, than, than other pieces of technology, say a graphing calculator might. So uh, your quartiles may be off just slightly than what the graphing calculator would report. The median, you can also use the quartile function and put in comma two, or you can just list uh, the function median with the same range. Q3, the third quartile, There it is. Type in the range, comma, and the number three for the th third quartile. The maximum equals MAX. Type in your range, and it'll choose the maximum data value from all those listed. Ronald Reagan is the oldest president at inauguration at age 69. The mid range, I'm not sure if Excel has a function for this but uh, mid-range is halfway like the average between the max and the min. So we're just going to take the max and the min and I'll reference them by selecting on their cell. There's the min. Add that to the max. Close the parentheses to use the appropriate order of operations and then divide by two. There's the mid-range. The range is just the max. So I'll reference that cell value. Uh, minus the min is the range. The interquartile range is a range as well. It's the difference between Q3, so we'll look at the value of Q3, minus the value of Q1. The uh, upper fence is equal to Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And the lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times 
the interquartile range. And there it is. So there's a, a listing of uh, many of the summary, summary statistics of a single variable.